Born on the Job, what's up? Jenny Blake here from lifeaftercollege.org. I want to talk to you today about doing a gap analysis. Whether you're currently employed or you're looking for work, a gap analysis can be really helpful in helping you figure out where you are now, where you want to be, and what that difference is in between. A lot of time companies do gap analyses to look at their current performance with their projected or potential performance. You can do the exact same thing. Sometimes people choose to do a gap analysis in terms of their own development. So what skills and expertise do I have now and where do I want to be in six months or a year from now? You can also do a gap analysis thinking about your career big picture as a whole. What kind of job are you in today? What kind of job do you want in the future? And how do you fill in the gaps in between? How can you start getting relevant skills and experience that are going to move you toward that next career role that you're looking for? I always encourage people to get, get down their current state, get down your future desired state, and then the gap analysis, start with doing a brainstorm. Do a mind map or a list of 50 things where you don't get up until you've come up with as many creative ideas as you can for how to fill in the gap between where you are now and where you want to go. I have a ton of great resources for this on my blog. Check out lifeaftercollege.org slash blog slash templates and there you'll find a professional development strategy template and a ton of other great stuff for job searching, job interviews. You can also check out my book, which is coming out in March. Very exciting. Life After College, The Complete Guide to Getting What You Want. So to learn more about that, go to lacbook.com. Thanks so much and have a great day.